Hey y'all, it is my fifth video journal slash journey of 2019. And my cousin is behind the camera dancing. I want to show her so bad, but she don't want to be on the camera. Y'all will be cracking up. <laughs> but I'm trying to be serious here because there was a purpose for me making this video. Um... But anyway, as I was saying, we're more than halfway through the year, and I'm on my fifth video. I, I cannot look at her right now while I'm talking, because she is a mess. So I'm messing with my hair. Still getting used to this short hair. Okay, so the purpose of this video is I had an epiphany about three mornings ago, maybe four now, I don't know, while I was having breakfast. <clears throat> Y'all have to ignore my cousin. She's a mess. You probably didn't even hear her. Anyway, so the epiphany that I had is in regarding manifesting. Um, and it's in, regarding, it's in regards to having subconscious blocks when it comes to money. And so I want you all to think about this just for a mo moment. If... You're going down the road. You have a destination. You're trying to get somewhere. And there's a roadblock. Do you move the roadblock? Do you move the barricades out of your way and keep going? Or what do you do? Think about it. No is an opportunity just as much as passing through that roadblock. You make a detour. See, she's over here thinking already. So you don't get out and move the barricade because there's an obstacle that you're not supposed to... Don't fight with reality. Right. So you look for a different way to get to your destination. A new path, a new opportunity. A new path. And so with this epiphany, right, when it comes to manifesting things, um, a lot of us have a block when it comes to money because... We may have grown up with certain beliefs instilled in us that you can't be spiritual and be rich. That's a big one for a lot of people. Or just to believe you don't deserve it is the one ounce of doubt that will keep yes. you from having it. Yes, and a lot of us, um, it, it, maybe not us, or we may know someone who has um, a belief system that they're insecure about themselves so they don't believe they should have money. So that's a block too. There's millions of, of different types of blocks when it comes to money. And a lot of us are still trying to overcome those blocks, myself included. But the thing about it is we still want to get to a certain destination. So we really um, want to manifest something in particular. So maybe you want to move somewhere warmer or maybe you want a new car or maybe you want to travel the world or what have you. And all of those things when we think in our mind that, oh, I need money to do all of those things. But, in reality, there's the block. If money is the block, then we have to think of how are we going to get to our destination? How are we going to move around the block until we figure out how to remove it completely? We don't have to prevent ourselves from manifesting the end goal, the destination. So, what do you do? You think, I want you to go home, if you're not home right now, or if you are home, get out a pen and a pad. Write down all the things that you would do if you had all the money in the world. Because a lot of times, the things that we wish to accomplish require in this reality um, to have money. Or so we think. So that's the point. So write down everything that you would wish to have if you had all the money in the world. Now, that's wonderful you've done that, right? Now I want you to... Focus on those things. Don't focus on, I want to manifest money. Focus on yourself living in this um, beautiful location where the weather is always good. Or focus on yourself taking this dream vacation or having this vehicle that you've always wanted. And take the money out of the equation. Because the fact of the matter is everything that you want, everything in your heart's desire was put in your mind because it's already exists in your reality. 
it's already there. You don't need money to get those things. The universe has a funny way of opening up all the things to you that you ever desire. If you have this dream vacation in mind, there's other ways to get it. You could win a dream vacation. You could win a brand new car. There are other ways the universe opens up for you when you set your mind on a destination. The universe makes a way to give that to you. If you are determined that money is that route and that's the only route to receive those things that you wish to manifest, you put a bottleneck on the universe. You're telling the universe, well, I want these things, but only by means of this, money. And you're, you have just a little hole there because there's a block. So you don't have enough money to flow through that block to get to your destination, okay? So remove the block. Don't remove the block. Eliminate that from your thought process, okay? When you want to manifest something, think about what it is you want to manifest. Think about how you're going to feel once you've manifested that. And don't worry. The universe will make a way. Let go. Go with the flow. Let the universe bring it to you the way it wants to, the way it chooses to. Not by the way you've dictated that your head tells you the only way I can get these things is if I have money. That's not true. That's a limiting belief. You already have everything right at your fingertips. You just have to set your mind on it and say, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have that. And then you will. And then you could go through the whole process of learning where is that money block coming from and then reprogramming your mind. You could still keep doing that. But in the meantime, you could still start manifesting your goals right now. And that's all I have to say. So this was a super long video. I want to send out love, light, and healing energy. as that you pass it on. And until next time, peace. Later.